Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I want to show you a really awesome trick here uh, for your visualizations in Power BI. Uh, and to be able, you know, this is it's only relatively recent that this has actually been embedded into to the Power BI suite or one of the features of Power BI. Now, what we're looking at here is actually an entry into uh, one of our latest Power BI challenges. Now, I'll just bring uh, bring it in here. So, on the forum, this actually came, and this is this is why the challenge is so good, is that this actually came from a non-member. So, we're allowing non-members to actually participate in. Uh, in the challenges at the moment because I've just seen that it is such an amazing learning opportunity so we want everyone who's using Power BI to participate and what I want to show you is how this tooltip was created because when I saw it I was like wow that is cool because when I did the challenge myself I went a totally different route uh, than um, Paul, Paul here Paul Ross who uh, utilized this dynamic tooltip and I thought wow this is actually such a unique way to showcase this information that I showed in a completely different way um, and it's just a, a really cool technique that I think is uh, is really valid for a particular um, you know, a particular visual, visualization, um, you know, especially the you know when you're showing a table, right? So what happens is, and this is I'm just in Power BI Desktop here as well, is that when you go through your table, everything automatically updates within uh, this tooltip. Isn't that cool? And you can be anywhere in the table and it updates. So some here, um, we just we can actually just change the sort here um, like this. And you'll see here that every single, and within the, within the tooltip itself, there is the key information that we can get from the customer. So what we're looking at here is the overview of a particular patient. But if we want to actually, well, of these sort of visits, because this, is, this, is this, this was um, a patient data set. So we're seeing all of their visits here. But then if we want to actually, say we're on a call with the patient and we want to actually see, okay, well, what are the, what are the granular details about this particular patient um, you know, and the relevant ones in terms of what was their left eye and their right eye score? And um, because this was an optical, um, an optical patient uh, a, a company, who, so, so an, opti an op optician, sorry. Um, and so, yeah, look, I, I just think this is this is seriously epic. I think this is amazing how it's dynamic. Okay, so how do you actually create it? Now, what you can do within the table visualization now, right, is if you select the table visualization and you go, to, and, and I believe that you can probably do this in a, in a number of visualizations, actually. I, I haven't, you know, to be honest, haven't looked at it. I haven't tried this deeply with other visualizations, but I'm sure you can. Now, down here, you've got tooltip, right? If you turn this on, what you have now is you have this option. Well, default was just the default sort of gray background, white lettering that used to used to pop up. But now you can actually bring up a report page, okay? And then so you select report page, and then you um, have some pages that you might want to that you can that you can bring into the tooltip. And so this so what what um, has been done here is there is a page called patient tooltip. Now the key thing is if I go to this patient tooltip page, you'll see here that down the bottom here that this this page is actually hidden when you're actually online. Um, so then all that's all that's been done here, if we have a look at it, uh, the first thing that's really really important here for the actual page itself is in this page size what you need to do is you need to actually put it to the tooltip uh, to the type tooltip so you have a range of different options here so if you go to tooltip here then this will be customized for your particular um, uh, tooltip that you want to show on the main page okay and then you just need to work into this page a range of your different um, metrics that you want to show right and so this um, up here is this this up here is a table with some uh, X's and, and O's depending on if they're a driver, smoker, um, so on and so forth. And down in here, we've got a, another table with a range of other uh, information about uh, the particular customer, which is just coming from the appointment table, right? So this is this is not difficult, this part of it. And there's just been, been a little bit of custom formatting done in these particular columns, conditional formatting. Right, um, if we have a look here, um, conditional formatting, yep, yeah, is it? Background color, probably data bars. Somewhere in here will be some conditional formatting, maybe. Um, let's have a look. Conditional formatting, visit date. Let's have a look, left eye. Yeah, data bars. Okay, so data bars are on, right? 
data bars are on for these that's how you're creating the in the in table visualization okay so that's all you got to do that's that's the main thing i mean it's, it's simpler than you think right it's just it's just about me but just showing you how how it works and and i'm so um excited about this technique I'm gonna implement something like something like this in a, in a follow up um, follow up challenge because I just think that that you know this is this this is like real applications. You're building real applications here um, when you, when you're able to you know, embed this sort of stuff. Imagine it, your your consumer being online, you're, you're viewing this online, so anywhere in the world, and then being able to just see this dynamic information. It's just so 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 powerful. So once you've done that, then all you need to do is obviously come back in here and switch that tooltip, which has already been done here, switch that tooltip um, um, formatter over to the report page patient tooltip, right? And then you can customize, I think, a few things here around how, how it looks. Uh, and then now you just hover over and it showcases the, um, it showcases the information. Just incredible really really incredible feature that i'm confident not many of you are using um so yeah look i think there's so much so many different ways you could probably take this to be honest um you know m maybe you could throw in um you know you throw in different visualizations there right maybe maybe chuck in like um, a column chart bar chart donut chart there's so many different things that, like trends you know you could show with line charts really really effectively cumulative totals here i mean there's an immense possibilities here and it's something that i'm going to explore deeper and i'm look, going to look forward to um to showcasing to you uh in in the future now one other thing um that's that is really cool about this report actually is the fact that uh you can say select a particular custom here and so this is there's there's some, there's some drill through which is going on here as well so we can select a customer right select a customer like that and then uh, what happens is you then can select this area here right uh, i think and, and that that is what initiates the drill through and so this is another awesome feature is the ability to draw drill through to a, a complete page here so this is a lot of very similar information but um it's it's gone to a new page with again a, a different way to showcase something quite similar right uh, in this particular case we're sort of seeing the scores the results over time um and i think you know it just represents it in a slightly different way so you know in terms of you know, ease of use i think uh there's so many positives here right there's there's the ability to drill into certain aspects of the information you're getting you know someone some, you're talking to a customer and you know you can see all this information so quickly right uh then maybe want to dive into this customer a little bit more we can come in here and move over to this more granular information and it all just happens so quickly and easily i mean it's, it is pretty amazing right i hope hopefully you 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 agree with me there so well done to well done to paul who um who submitted this into into the challenge and hopefully you know i'm i'm you know i'm i'm relatively confident that that paul probably learned a lot actually participating and that's what i recommend uh, to you as well so definitely jump onto the enterprise dna forum and check out uh you know a lot of the historic challenges that we've been doing a lot of the historic submissions there's so, there's so much to learn just by reading this stuff honestly um but then also get involved get involved there's just so much um benefits to, to doing so it's probably one of the best learning experiences i think that's out there okay so um look forward to to seeing you on a future challenge okay i'm gonna wrap things up hope you like this one um, if you did, throw the video a like, appreciate it as always, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, all the best.